Hello fellow hunters, as of this weekend, every Monster Hunter games online mode can now be played. This is just a quick video to let you know where you can go to get them set up. I've talked about it quite a bit on this channel, but there is a Discord for the Monster Hunter 1 and G servers. They only work with the Japanese version of Monster Hunter 1, however they've made English patches for both 1 and G. These servers do host event quests, which rotate every once in a while. Online, you're able to host quests alone or with friends. On top of that, both console and emulator users can play together. Aside from some bugs, it's pretty close to complete. It was really cool seeing it slowly come together over the years. The game I've been grinding out this year is Monster Hunter 2, which has a cheat code for the PS2 emulator, created by GigaProto. I made a video breaking down all the differences with this patch and the online mode. Basically, you can gain Hunter rank with regular quests, but you'll be doing it solo. If you do install it, there is also a new English patch in the announcement channel on the Monster Hunter 1 team's Discord. They've also got plans to get an actual server for the game at some point, and I'll definitely update you all if that happens. I'll also leave a link towards the bottom of the description with my Discord if you need help. The new servers that inspired this video are the Monster Hunter Tri servers, which recently launched and look quite promising. Right now it only works with a Wii emulator, but there are plans for official hardware. I'll have a link to their website pages, currently the servers only support solo play, the multiplayer will be coming in the future. If you need help, check out their Discord, they've got a channel for it. If you're looking to play any of the Freedom or Portable series games online with friends, there's a few ways you can do it. You could research port forwarding, which would let you host a server. I'll link a website with all the ports that need to be forwarded. Otherwise, if you want a private server between friends, getting a VPN like Hamachi would definitely work. However, there is a community that has their own network you can join, with players constantly playing the handheld titles called Hunsterverse. Their website will be linked down below as well. Currently, it's a little difficult to get official hardware to work online. There were resources for it in the past. I'm sure if you did some digging, you'd find a method to do it. Lastly, if you want to play some of the 3DS titles online, such as 3U, Citra has some built-in servers, but I haven't really played around with them myself. If you're wondering how to copy over your data or install texture packs, I'll have links to both Bleep Blurf's Guide and Shep's Discord. Outside of that, every Monster Hunter title has official online support, so go get hunting. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe, it would really help out. Just a quick update for those of you that follow me, I've spent the last several weeks in Monster Hunter 2 trying to understand one of the mechanics. I want to get two more Monster Hunter 2 videos out before I get back to work on the Flooded Forest comparison for Rise. While I work on those, I'll try to get some shorter content and gameplay highlights out, but if you have questions or want to see some gameplay, I go live on Twitch every so often, and I usually post updates for that in my Discord.